Firms focused on alternative investments are drowning in a deluge of data. The changing world of work is altering the landscape, and issues like the problems with ESG reporting and monitoring are making life more complex for firms. Without the confidence in the accuracy of investment reporting and their ability to deliver smart, successful investment management, time and money is being wasted. But it doesn't have to be this way. I'm Georgie Prost, and welcome to Business Reporter's Future of Financial Services and Banking Campaign. As funds grow, their investor base, communication and reporting can become exponentially growing burdens on finance teams. In this episode, we'll be discussing why communication and content sharing are such a challenge and how that can be resolved with Steve Tobio, VP of Product at Dynamo. Steve focuses on the general partner side of the business. How are managers generally communicating with their prospects and investors? Communication is is really a a two-way street. Uh, Fund managers are communicating with investors as almost a customer service representative where they're satisfying any requests or questions that their investors have. I would say for the most part, it's phone calls, emails, and even in-person meetings. Uh, They want to make sure that they have a real personal touch with their investors. Is there a one-size-fits-all way of investor onboarding? Does it differ per vertical? There really isn't. Different managers need to communicate differently with uh, their investors depending on their vertical. If you take private equity fund managers, for example, they're going to raise a new fund every two to three years or sometimes even longer than that. Then you have real estate fund managers who are almost in a continuous onboarding cycle because they're raising per opportunity. So for the real estate fund managers, their investment process has to be significantly streamlined. How was it historically done and what were the problems? What issues does that present to funds? If we rewind five years ago, the entire process was done with physical mailings. Managers would literally mail their subscription agreements to investors on wet ink with the expectation that investors would fill those out and and know how to fill those out. Mistakes were made um, and that resulted in a ton of back and forth with mailing, correcting, remailing, et cetera. And this could take up to two to three weeks or even longer. And the problem with that is you could risk missing an investment opportunity because of that timeframe. Is onboarding still a manual process or has there been an evolution? I don't think there's any fund managers today at all who are still mailing subscription agreements to their investors. There, there's certainly been a technology evolution to an online portal. I think the, the issue is that in, managers are really trying to find a balance of streamlining the process, but also making it easy for their investors. I think where where Dynamo fits in is we've created a solution that's very flexible and configurable so that we're allowing managers to tweak the investor portal for their investors and really not interfere with their existing workflow. As I mentioned, communication and reporting can become a burden on investor management and finance teams. How would this typically play out in real life? Fundraising is really one piece of the puzzle. Onboarding as a whole requires not just the investor relations team, but also the finance and accounting teams. The investor relations team is going to go and they're going to capture qualitative data, but they also need to understand quantitative data, things like commitment amounts and wiring instructions. That information has to get passed down to the accounting team in order to complete the onboarding process. So it's it's really both sides of the equation are, are critical to this process. I think where Dynamo shines is we offer a solution that we are at the very forefront of the the fundraising process. We're the first piece of communication, but then we also take it through the investor correspondence process all the way down to accounting and financial reporting. So having all that information in a single database is, is really super efficient for the entire process to take place. Why is communication and content sharing such a challenge? Well, it it really comes down to an equation of efficiency versus um, centralized database and centralized logging of information. If if I'm going to go and send an email out or make a phone call, it's simple for me to just do that. But taking the time to log that in a database is, is 
two times longer, three times longer. And so a lot of people just aren't disciplined enough to do that. At the end of the day, if you fast forward two months, three months, six months, two years, there's no way anybody's gonna remember that phone call unless it's logged into a central database. How have fund managers traditionally tried to solve this and why is that proven ineffective? And how does Dynamo solve this issue and make investor onboarding smoother? The only way to truly solve the problem is to enter every piece of communication in a single place. The problem is by doing that with a subpar solution, you're creating frustration for investors and end users and managers, and you're also creating a potential lack of adoption, which would completely fail the process. What Dynamo does is we bolt on to the email client solution. So we're not disrupting the workflow process at all. Fund managers are going to communicate with investors and we have an AI tool that reads those email correspondences and automatically relates them to the fund, the contact, the investor opportunity. It brings those all into a centralized database. So at, at any point, you can search for your fund, you can search for your contact, you can search for that opportunity, and you're gonna get a list of every single piece of correspondence that was made between that fund and between that investor. And that correspondence will live in the database forever, and anybody within the organization has the power to read that data from a grid, from a report, or directly within the UI of the application. What differentiates Dynamo solutions from that of its competitors? Well, I think to answer that question, you have to think about what's the difference between electronic and digital. I think an electronic solution is a means of sending an email or uploading a document to an FTP site or uploading a document to a portal. That's simply not good enough anymore. Dynamo offers a, a digital solution which allows managers and investors a playground to communicate back and forth. By streamlining the process, we've created web forms that allows the manager to capture qualitative data and also allows for capturing electronic signatures. So investors have a one-stop shop to completely onboard an entire solution right there on a portal. I think if we continue to be electronic, we're gonna be a thing of the past and any manager who doesn't have a digital solution is going to be perceived as somebody who's fallen behind. Steve Tobio, VP of Product at Dynamo.